What's up, Anfinex? Tech Fnac Knight from AndroidRoots.com with me on the Samsung Galaxy S3 T Mobile. But this method to get free Wi Fi tethering slash hotspot for your Galaxy S3 will work on any US variant in the in the United States. <laughs> so it'll work for AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, um, T-Mobile, like I mentioned earlier. Any carrier you have, this method should work as long as you're running on TouchWiz RAM. So uh, one way, if you don't know what TouchWiz is, it's just basically the stock RAM or a custom RAM that does that didn't do major modifications or didn't remove TouchWiz at least. So you'll be able to notice if you're on TouchWiz when you have this, uh, uh, this water, water unlock mod and um, also the default 14 or 15 which is toggle like this one so make sure if you're not sure if your custom RAM is on TouchWiz definitely check out the source list where you get that RAM and see if it's running on TouchWiz or ask the developer if you're running TouchWiz and if you if he still doesn't reply for any reason uh, just unroot your phone or get a TouchWiz RAM at the end so it's very easy to do anyway and uh, before I do begin telling you all this you must be rooted as well so you must be in TouchWiz uh, must, it, it, has, it has to be obviously a US variance and you have to be um rooted so if you don't know how to root your phone you can check out those videos right there how to root it for uh, windows right there you can check out those annotations um and this will work for both ice cream sandwich and jelly bean um it should work flawlessly um i actually already have a one for uh, ice cream sandwich um i'll have an annotation right here as well if you're running ice cream sandwich but this one this one will work for jelly bean as well so first thing you do is download apk um let me just go into file manager and show you which apk you need to download so mine's under my downloads folder because I did download directly onto my phone. Um, if you download, um, obviously I have a link below where you can download this. So go ahead and download that APK directly onto your phone, or you can transfer it from your uh, computer to your phone. Uh, it's much easier just to download directly to your phone. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap on it. And okay, um, I already installed one, so I'm gonna tap on OK and install. And if you do get a um, security issue, go and tap on the settings and make sure unknown sources is checkmarked and go ahead and go back here and install this. So let's go, go ahead and open it. And now head down to settings. And then about device profile. Scroll all the way down to Samsung Galaxy S3 and make sure that one is chosen. Once you get that all set, uh, you don't have to change any more settings and go ahead and start it. Start it and it will, um, start the Wi-Fi tether so let's give it a few seconds and like I said earlier you must be granting super user so let's go ahead and grant super user like I said you must be rooted so give it a few seconds to start up and once it does finish starting up we'll go ahead and connect my computer to this and we'll check it out so I'm gonna go ahead down to my computer and we'll check it out alright so you can see I'm on my Mac OS X and this will obviously also work for Windows computer you can connect to your Xbox or anything like that as well if you have the correct Wi-Fi and adapter and all that stuff so as you can see right there it's called Android Tether uh, you can, if you change the name of the SSD that means it would be that name so we're gonna go ahead and connect to it and uh, when, once it does connect you'll be able to see the upload and download speeds going so as you can see once it connected the download and upload speeds right there so hopefully you can pick that up so let's go ahead and open up my uh, Google Chrome and check it out so this page is already loaded let me zoom out so you can get a better look at that zoom out and let's go ahead and uh, refresh this page and see if it does work which it should so give it a few seconds to refresh and there you go it did uh, refresh and you can see my speeds are going up and down right there so I'm at 157 let's refresh it one more time and it should go up again and now it's at 186 right there so and let's go to google.com as well just to make sure google.com and there you go you're on Wi-Fi tether and that is how you get it and this should work for both 4G and 3G um, for your US variants. Um, so definitely try it. Uh, works very fast and very, very good speeds, especially for Wi-Fi tethering. Um, definitely check it out. It works very, very well for your device. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right up there so you can be notified when I upload more videos like these. Round reviews, how to root your Galaxy S3, and many more other videos like this for both Mac and Windows. And give me a big old thumbs up down below in the left corner right there as well if you found this video helpful, if it helped you out, or if it helped your friend out, or whoever else out. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you need help on this or any other video, and you, you know you want to follow me, add me, whatever, uh, you can add me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. Follow me. You know I'll do all that good stuff, and you can also get in contact with me through there as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.